Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, to begin with, the Australian dollar is currently attempting to restore its bullish bias. As you can see here, the market is now looking towards that 75 15 25 area. I expect to see, like previously, a supply to return and see the market eventually pull away from that area and look back towards the support at 74.55. Now today at 2.30 we do have the RBA monetary policy decision. It is expected that uh, there will be any, be unlikely to see any change and see the uh, rates hold to uh, the historic lows of 1.5%. Now a break beneath 74.55 does give further exposure to the downside and bring in a target at 74.10 and reassess from there. The euro is still contained by the resistance of um, 108, sorry, 112.80 figure. It is viewed that while contained, the market will eventually break down and look towards that level at 111.70.80 and reassess from there. As a break beneath there would give further risk to the downside and she moved towards 110.70.90. Now this week we do have the release of the uh, European Central Bank, the ECB, uh, this uh, monetary policy announcement. It's unlikely to see any change from the bank, so uh, we could see eventually the market pull away from this top side, but we still need to see the dollar index recover, and it's currently not seeing that sort of uh, momentum to support a, uh, a bearish view. However, let's see how the market plays out. A break above the 113 handle would give me a neutral view, and I would like to see how the market plays out from the break. The immediate target above there would be seen at 113.60 to 114.60. But as I mentioned, I would hold a neutral view. Purely for the fact is if, if the market is a, uh, if, if it does turn out to be a false break, then we could easily see the market plummet towards that 111.70 support. So the alarm bells are still ringing in the uh, bull camp for the uh, dollar yen case. And as you can see, the market is still pretty much pressure in this level at 110.05.10. It is viewed there is stops underneath there. Now a break beneath there will give further exposure, bringing in a target of 108.80 and an objective of 108 figure 35. But to see how the market plays out in the next 24 hours, because if we do see a rejection from there, then it would bring an immediate target to 110.90. Well, the pound pretty much unchanged overnight after a brief look to the upside. Resistance still seen at 129.30 as a short-term cap. However, we could see a little bit more exposure as the market moves further to, um, towards the uh, UK election. Support now seen at uh, 128.35.55. Now a, a break beneath there would give further exposure and bring in a target of 127.10. Gold now consolidating underneath that uh, 1,285 resistance. And from the technical point, we're still overbought, and I expect to see the market eventually pull away from there and look back towards that 77 support. Now, a break beneath there would give further exposure to the downside and bring in a target of 69 to maybe even lower towards that uh, 1,260 level. Towards that 85 or even towards 94, if we do see a break, I expect to see firm supply returning and eventually see a pullback towards that support level. And to round off with oil, the market still holds to a negative outlook. And as you can see, the pattern is still pretty much looking towards that target of 46.40. Now this could extend towards the lows that we saw just recently around $45.60. Any advances should find a cap around 48.80 to 49 and a half in, in the short term. So that wraps up my daily video. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a great day ahead.